Greetings and salutations everybody, I'm Andrew from Team Respawn and I wanted to make a dedicated video about Halo the Master Chief Collection, reasons to buy it or reasons to not buy the MCC. I'm going to give you my opinion on the Master Chief Collection because I've talked about how I feel about the game in the past and uh, it's kind of been in bits and pieces so I figured I would make a dedicated video to reasons why you should possibly if this is right up your alley, buy the Master Chief Collection in 2018. Is it even worth your time in 2018 to get the Master Chief Collection if you don't already have it? So I'm going to start off by saying the reasons to buy the MCC. This is reasons why I think it's a great game, why I think it's an auto-buy for an Xbox One owner, regardless of what the community thinks of it. Uh, it's just the best way to play the Halo campaigns. There's no denying that Halos 1, 2, 3, 4, and ODST look, run, and sound amazing in the Master Chief Collection, especially Halo 1 Anniversary and even more so Halo 2 Anniversary. Uh, Halo 2 Anniversary was made for the Master Chief Collection. You can only find it in that game. Uh, it looks beautiful. Halo 2, I think, is one of the best-looking Halo games ever from the anniversary treatment that I got. They redid all the cutscenes for Halo 2. I mean, it's just a... It's absolutely amazing. It's the game that you know and love, but uh, immensely better. There's nothing absolutely taken away from the original Halo 2 that's not in this. It's everything and more. And your eyes will love it. And it's a great, great game. Uh, Halo 1 Anniversary looks just about the same as it does on the 360 uh, remaster that I got a few years ago. So that game looks and runs fine. Halo 3 and Halo 4 and arguably Halo 1 Anniversary aren't touched all that much. Uh, they have been bumped up to 60 frames per second and run at 1080p right now. Um, and if, you know, you may not be a resolution or frame rate guy, but I'll tell you, put them side by side. Put in Halo 3 on your 360 and play for a little bit, and then play Halo 3 on the MCC, and it's going to be night and day. Um, you're going to be like, wow, this looks so much better, even though they didn't do all that much to the games. So it's just the best way to play the Halo campaigns right now. Also, if you're a big extras kind of a guy, there's tons of extra stuff in the MCC. I mean, there's tons of terminals, there's tons of Chivos, tons of achievements to get in this game. Uh, pretty much of anything you can think of, all the way from campaign to Spartan Ops, to some of the playlists, to multiplayer. I mean, every aspect of this game has some sort of achievement, and you're going to be hunting achievements for a very, very long time. Uh, if you love skulls, all of the skulls are in this, and you can kind of select skulls however you want, just as before. Um, but I think the skulls have been a little bit more streamlined for use in the MCC, which is great. It includes every multiplayer DLC ever from all four games. So if you're big into multiplayer, uh, you get to play Halo 1 online on the Xbox for the first time, because that didn't happen for Halo 1 on the Xbox. Uh, multiplayer for Halo 1 came from the PC version. Uh, Halo 2 is back. The Halo 2 multiplayer that we know and love from the original Xbox days is in here, along with a remastered Halo 2 multiplayer, which I got to say is phenomenal to play. It is a blast to play Halo 2 Anniversary. Um, Halo 3 and Halo 4, again, haven't really been touched that much, but of course you have the frame rates and resolution bumps, and includes all the map packs right out of the box, you don't have to worry about any of that stuff. Uh, ODST is in here, if you want to expand the MCC campaigns, you can pick up ODST pretty cheap, I think it's like 5 bucks or something, and uh, in my opinion it is, it's worth the $5, uh, even, if, even if you're not a big ODST fan, that has gotten the MCC treatment too with the frame rate and resolution bump. They have tons of playlist options to play different missions across different games, which is pretty cool. Like some examples are you get to play every tank mission in all f uh, four Halo games. You get to play, um, what is it, the last mission of all four Halo campaigns. Um, stuff like that. Uh, it, there's a lot of different playlists in here, and it's pretty cool to try out just because you play one mission, boom, it jumps you to the next game, you get to try that out. So that's pretty awesome. Uh, if you're someone like me where you like to mix and match missions, 
in the Halo universe. Uh, Spartan Ops and Forge mode and Theater mode are all in here as well. So, you know, if you want to take your experience beyond the campaign and the multiplayer, those modes are in here as well. Um, and I really, personally, I haven't dove too much into Forge or Theater mode just because I did that way back in the Halo Reach, Halo 3 days. So I'm kind of been there, done that kind of a thing. But I haven't heard way too many complaints about it. I could be wrong, but that's just the vibe I'm getting from the community. So those are the reasons to buy the MCC. Here are some of the reasons to not buy the Master Chief Collection. And you can't, we got to address the elephant in the room. And this is why 343... Uh, has come out of the woods, or the woodwork, I should say, and say, you know what, we're coming to fix the Master Chief Collection, or it's going to get enhanced for the Xbox One X, which is all good stuff, but you could also tally, you know, put it in the column of bad stuff too, because the game just doesn't work for some people. It's actually incredible on how many people still have problems with the Master Chief Collection, and how long it took them to address the problems with the Master Chief Collection. Arguably, for myself, I think it's unexcusable that it took them this long to do it. However, I think we shouldn't be as harsh on 343 just because they at least, they're a better late than never kind of a deal happening right now. So, um, you know, it has been almost or over four years. I forget how long. It's been a long time since the game came out, and it's been a long time since they tried to fix it. Um, they're diving into the code to change it. Uh, they're going to be rolling out some pilot versions of the MCC to Insiders to try it out. Um, so there's a whole bunch of stuff they're going to be doing with this game. So it's going to be a big construction zone for a while. Um, so clearly the game just doesn't work for some people. I haven't had that issue, but I know I'm definitely not um, the minority here. I know majority of people have issues with this game. There's connection issues. There's issues where the game will just flat out freeze. There's audio issues. Um, I mean, there's just some weird glitches going on in this game. And I'm sure it has to do with just how big the coding base is. Because theoretically, there's like six games in here. You got the first four Halo games, the two anniversaries, and ODST. So there's a lot of things working under the hood here for this game. It's not as simple as people think it is. Um, and I would say... You know, it's not enhanced for the Xbox One X yet. Um, this point can probably be taken away over time. Uh, this is just because 343 is enhancing it for the Xbox One X. But granted, I'm not really sure how much more they can enhance the game besides bumping it up to 4K at 60 FPS for those on the Xbox One X with their fancy 4K TVs. Other than that, I don't see it really improving all that much in terms of frame rates um, for people on 1080p screens. So um, it's just going to be have to wait and see what they do with the enhancements for the X. Um, there's no real active community here. Um, and I think a lot of this has to do on both sides of the aisle in terms of 343 not really supporting it. And so since 343 is not supporting it, all the people are like, uh, well, you know, whatever. We're not going to mess with it because 343 is not supporting it. So I think it's kind of a snowball effect to why it's not very active. Granted, you can get on and find a match almost instantly if it works for you. However, I don't see people dropping them playing Fortnite to go play the Master Chief Collection. So I think once 343 really gets under the hood, starts pushing out some updates to the game, and it starts working better for people, then people are going to probably come back and try and be like, oh, wow, it works, and it actually works this time. And maybe they'll invite their friends. The population will probably go up. I really would like to see 343 kind of do some promotions for the game, whether it be community tournaments, hosting some stuff on their official Twitch and Mixer channels, uh, something to really get people talking about the MCC again, talking about all the improvements that they've done, how much better it runs, blah, 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 things of that sort. But as of this moment right now, in April of 2018, there's no real active community for the Master Chief Collection. Granted, I think it's going to change for the better, but as of right now, you know, if you're big into communities, uh, you know, big open servers, those kinds of things. That's not here just yet, but it might be coming soon. Not a lot of people care for the MCC anymore, and it has a bad rep right now, which is probably stating the obvious. I mean, uh, people don't have a lot of patience for a whole lot of things, especially on the internet. Um, so I think people probably waited a few months. They noticed that the 
updates and patches and server fixes way back when the game came out didn't fix it so they're like you know what just forget it you know what forget it i'm done with this and they just dropped it traded it in deleted it from their hard drive whatever if you were to go up and tell someone i'm playing the master chief collection tonight do you want to join i'm pretty sure they'll laugh in your face right now they would um so i think just i don't think the halo community really cares for this game they kind of pushed it in the closet because they were so hyped about it, they, this is going to be the biggest fan service ever, ever, and it just came out and it didn't work. So everyone got upset and they just tried to forget it. That's just the vibe I'm getting from the community right now. And honestly, besides Halo 2, there is not much of a better improvement over the 360 counterparts, which may contradict my earlier statement saying, you know, it's objectively the best way to play the older games. However, you know, I'll take my point as my own poison where if you don't care about resolution and if you don't care about frame rates, you're not going to notice or even care for that big of a difference. I mean, sure, the games look better, they run better, that's just stating the obvious. You can tell by putting them side by side, but does it make the 360 or original Xbox versions of these games unplayable going back to them? Absolutely not. You can go and fire up your original Xbox, your Xbox 360, put in any Halo game you want, it'll run just fine, and it'll look and run just how it was when the game came out. I mean, there's nothing wrong with 30 FPS. People have been playing 30 FPS for really forever until 60 FPS came out whenever that was, a few years ago, I'm assuming. I'm a pleb, I don't know. <laughs> but I'm saying if you don't care about Halo 2 Anniversary, you can play literally every single game in this collection on your 360. You can play Halo 1, you can play Halo 2, Halo 3, Halo 4, ODST, uh, Halo 1 Anniversary, you get what I'm saying. They all work and run on the 360, and I think all of them, except the original Xbox versions which they are, actually, now that I think about it, all of them are backwards compatible on the Xbox One. So if you just want to go out and get your 360 disc versions of these games, throw them in your Xbox One, they'll work and run just fine. They're not going to look as pretty or run as smooth as the MCC counterparts, but they'll work. The DLC is free for those games. Uh, that might entice you to go buy the 360 versions of those games. And there's probably people playing them online, just not as many as the MCC is my guesstimation. I don't know. But why should you buy the MCC in 2018? I'm going to put it as in it's the best way to play these games. 343 is going to fix it. You know new features are coming because they asked the community what kinds of features that they wanted. They did announce a couple of new features that they're adding, like a custom games browser sort of a thing like Halo 5 has. So you know good things are coming to the MCC. More features are coming to this game. They're going to put support behind the game. All of this is going to be free. Um, I think there's just too many good things coming to the MCC to say I'm done with this completely and never touch it again. And I think um, it's just the best way to play the games. That's just, I think that's just the reason why to get this. If you're not going to play the multiplayer, I would still get it just for Halo 2 Anniversary. That's how good Halo 2 Anniversary is, in my opinion. It is worth the 20 or $30, however much the game costs right now, to pick it up and try it out. It's phenomenal. Anyway... What are your thoughts on the Master Chief Collection? Uh, did you rage quit? Did you say, I'm not playing this anymore? Are you stoked to play it again? Post your thoughts in the comments below. Love to hear what you have to say on this topic. Uh, we're going to be covering a lot of the news and announcements uh, now and moving forward for the MCC that 343 will be putting out. So if you want to stay informed, click the bell icon so you don't miss uh, any videos that I'll be posting in the future. And I'm really excited to see what's around the corner for this game. Hopefully, it works. Finally. Hopefully, it works. Thanks for watching, everyone. I'm Andrew from Team Respawn, and I'll see you next time.